Hello folks, I'm Abfielder and in today's Minecraft tutorial we are going to look at how we fix a custom recipe data pack to work in 1.21. I'm going to assume that you've been clever enough to find a data pack and download it. So that's where we're going to start. So I have my renewable cobwebs.zip here. This data pack was created in 1.20. I'm going to click on it, then right click and extract all and then just click extract on there. That extracts it to that folder. We're going to double click on that and then we're going to go into the data folder and then into the crafting folder. And then the first thing we need to change is we need to take the S off recipes. So we're going to right click, click on rename, remove the S so it says recipe. That's change number one. We'll double click into the now recipe folder and then we're going to right click on this file. And for now, I'm going to open it in Notepad. You can open it in any text editor. I'm just going to drag that onto the screen. There we go. And this is the custom recipe JSON file. We're going to go down to the result section here and where it says item in the result section, we need to change that line to now say ID. I have no idea why they've done that, but they have changed it to ID. Then we need to save the file. For this, you can do control plus S if you're on a Windows machine, or you can go up to file and click on the save button. You can then close that file. We're back in Windows Explorer now. We need to go to the top level of the data plaque. So we click on renewable cobweb here. I like the folder and the file, right click on one of them and compress to zip file. Give it a nice friendly name and then boom, done. You have fixed a pre 1.21 data pack to work on 1.21 and hopefully above. Now I've copied this into a local world. It's your world and then the data pack folder and it's automatically enabled. If you're on a server, you might need to do data pack list and then data pack and enable your data pack. And just to prove it works, I'm going to put some string in here and a slime ball in the center and boom, we get the cobweb. Just want to say a big thank you to my patrons. They help keep Abcraft completely free to play on. And also you can get data packs from abfielder.com now. But anyway, folks, that's all I have time for for now. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.